Thanks. So uh, my name's Claire. The madre in question actually is in the audience tonight. She's back there. So if you want to laugh, go ahead and laugh, but please don't point, especially not at me. Um, the, uh, I think this is the, one of the coolest things I've seen in technology in a while. Back in late February, my mom got her iPhone and uh, mayhem ensued. And it was really, really interesting to watch it unfold, and I wanted to share that with you. Um, so, uh, Apple needs two kinds of users in order for a product to be successful. They need early diehards, like that woman on the left, I don't know who she is, to hang out at the Apple store on the day the product launches and pay $600 for it. And they need lots of madres. And in between those two groups, you can see the ones like me are a very small percentage. The madres are actually a pretty big percentage. They're the majority users. And there's a chasm between them. They use products in a totally different way. They care about really different things. And watching my mom use hers was fascinating. So oh, there's an arrow there that goes down. I paid $600 for my iPhone. So did many of you. Yeah, we do that because we're hot for technology. The madre, not so not. What? No, not quite. Um, so early market people really care about technology and performance. And for me, that means I wanted my iPhone to replace my iPad, or not my iPad, <laughs> my iPod, my uh, computer, my boyfriend, my alarm clock. <laughs> I want it to do everything. And I'm using up almost all the storage space. Um, it does everything for, uh, from letting me blog to giving me the complete works of Shakespeare, which of course I need on a daily basis. Now my mother uh, uses it for different reasons. Majority users really look for solutions and convenience. They want something that's reliable. They want something that makes their lives easier and more fun. And as we will see, that is certainly true for my mom. Now, the way it's played out has been sort of surprising, and this is the order in which she has sort of investigated the product. Uh, note, <laughs> yeah. It has basically turned her telephone addiction into a multimedia extravaganza, which started with text. She asserted herself in SMS, which we couldn't get her to use first. Note, the madre is not dead yet. Um, this was really exciting because I don't pick up my phone ever, and, and for her it was a solution to get around that problem. Then we went into digital photography. You can see the feet and the Blazers game. This test, go Blazers. Um, the, uh, the, this test was successful, and what this allowed her to do was something that was actually pretty hard for her, which is sharing photos, which matters a lot to my mom. Um, the, the camera feature has been big, real big. Um, and, and then we go from hope to danger. It used to be that I would get phone calls describing the smutty thing she's watching on TV or uh, driving conditions on the Oregon passes. Now, <laughs> sometimes the experiments have failed. <laughs> I don't know what was going on here, but I have the same feeling about MMS, yeah. So. It's, it's been really interesting for me to watch. Now, while I was watching this, my mom actually doesn't have any apps on her iPhone yet because she doesn't have iTunes because I haven't flown to Oregon and installed it for her. So, the, so, but my friend Shannon, my friend Shannon asked how, how are majority users using apps and this is how they're doing it. It's gaming, entertainment, and local. Nobody but me is reading Shakespeare on their iPhone. So, I, but I think it's really powerful. This says where mobile devices are going and, and it, where they have, in fact, already gone. Um, there's a challenge here, though. You know, for me, if I want to learn how to use something, I, I talk about use cases before I even get my hands on the device. For my mom, that's been a little bit different. Um, I am surrounded by technology nerds, which I love. People who are, in fact, so into digital media that they will, they will dress up, ironically, as old media for Halloween. <laughs> and uh, my mom, sadly, has to fly in her specialist from California. Now, um, it's not shocking that a year before they released the iPhone, they re-released their retail concept and introduced the concept of the Genius Bar, so that my mom now has access to all of these people who can provide specialized, personal interactions that are comfortable for her. Now, there's this other thing, first month, iPad downloads, 1.5 million books, 3.9 million games. 
3.9 million games in one month. This is the chasm they're crossing. <laughs> These are your new majority gamers. That is my high school boyfriend. <laughs> so I, I, just, I just wanted to spark the idea with you all. When, when, you're, when you're launching something, when you're selling something, how are you gonna sell to me and my madre? Thanks.